Welcome back to another episode of TI Junkies. Another episode of TI Junkies, this time four player game. We have a fun four player game today, a fun lineup. All right guys, look at this. We got a spicy, chill, spicy four player game today. We got Matt, he is feverishly shuffling these secret objectives right now. Yep. Like his life depends on it, which it does. We got Rand, we got Michael returning with, what is that? He's got BMF in his hands right now. He's ready to sell it. What's up guys, it's Henry. And today I'm playing the Empyrean. I'm wearing this beautiful purple shirt I got in their honor. I knew I was gonna play someone purple. I thought about switching Empyrean out for Winu at the last second, um, cause they're also purple. So it would have been valid. I'm Michael and I am playing the Nas Roca Alliance. This is my first time playing the Nas Roca. Today I'm playing the Muat for no other reason than I feel like it. I don't know, I don't play them a lot, let's see what it's like. Playing extra this time, trying to turtle up as much as possible. Kind of the problem that I'm in is uh, I'm neighbors with Rand, who is Muad and has, you know, a war son already out. I told Matt he's playing extra, he wants the turtle. I'm gonna punish it. I'm not gonna let him turtle. He, he ended up with construction. It's not it's not looking good for Matt's future. And she, she's threatened me if I turtle, so it's kind of like, you know, I either I either turtle and, uh, and Rand comes after me, or I don't turtle and Rand comes after me anyway. Nah, I'm kidding, man. Anyway. We'll see. Things to look out for this game. Matt is playing extra and he got construction. You know, what's what's turtle to do? You know, like we gotta we gotta figure something out here. He is gonna be turtling it up like his life depends on it from the first second we get into this game. A diplomatic conundrum that the extra kingdom is gonna have to figure out. We gotta carve him up like a Thanksgiving turkey. What can I say? We have no other option. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be doing my own thing, but other people better carve them up so I can win. I'm pretty excited about my slice. I got a whole bunch of hazardous planets, which um, are great when you have mechs, and I intend to have as many mechs as possible. I have a secret that is have four technologies of the same color, which is gonna be a little bit at odds with the current public. We got develop weaponry, untune unit upgrade technologies, and lead from the front. Spend a total of three tokens from your tactic or strategy pools. Oh well, big spendy. Let's do it. Hope you don't fall asleep. The secret's pretty squirrel, it's half five dry dots. I did get the bombardment secret, which is perfect for Muat, so let's, let's, let's sandbag that? I don't know, let's see. Her playstyle keeps getting spicier and spicier. Before you know it, she's gonna be like moving through me to get to me and taking my home system with 17 more suns. I think a lot of it's gonna come down to how nice the uh, exploration decks are to me. You always gotta look out for Michael cause he'll be playing quiet, he'll be playing smart, he'll be, he'll be ready to win. And NRA lends itself to that. Oh, you've been over there like playing a single player board game and now you're gonna win the multiplayer board game. That's like the NRA classic to me. Either way, excited, so let's go. I am absolutely disgusted, but by what I've seen out there. So the situation is, I have lucked into four commands and I have dark packs, so we're about to, Ben and I are about to make like a bunch of money here. I'm about to give Matt the game, that's what's about to happen. Henry has traits. So, we have, let's figure this out. So you have, so the first step is you giving me all four, but it's not gonna, I'm not gonna keep all four. The first step is I give you all four. And then we, we'd each get one. Let's keep, let's get... leave them in the middle here just so we like yep. can figure it out. And we each get one. Yeah, we each get Disgusting one. Disgusting display of wealth. But Disgusting. we only, but this is like the transaction, right? So I, so I can. So I give you those four, those all turn into trade goods. These turn into trade goods. And are we splitting them evenly or? I would like us to, I'll give you two back. I'll give but them I have... and you can give me your two trade goods from there from the, because those had already that's been true. washed. That's true, yeah, that's so true, that's from last turn. Okay. So, so then we, we both have four, nice. four money. I like it. 
god, and trade hasn't even popped. Trade hasn't even We're popped. We're about to yet. get even richer, dude. Oh my god. Ugh. That is so sick. Michael, yeah. what do you have to say about See this? See your Polvos. Ooh, I don't know. I'm, it's, uh, it's a lot of trade goods. It's a lot of trade goods. So Matt and Henry getting filthy, filthy rich off of Explorers and Dark Pack. We gotta do it. We gotta go for Schmeck via the Rift. Oh gosh, we've seen this before. We oh, have the money. Go. Here we go. Where's that crazy die? Here it is, the die from Nick. I'm just, oh yeah, I gotta do this. I'm moving this carrier and that ground guy, and that's it. We're just going for Schmeck. <sighs> Four, let's oh, go oh, by, the, by the skin just of the barely. universe. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, we're scoring that little custodes. Thank you. Let me spend my six bucks. Four at home, and then two trade goods. Custodes. <laughs> we're blasting off, folks. We're blasting off. Henry scoring multiple guacs. That, this is just insane. Got three points around one. Disgusting, just popped a double guac at three. The game started Disgusting. like- Disgusting. Disgusting. The game started like 10 minutes ago. Disgusting. <laughs> Get him. I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna Completely pay for this so hard. I'm gonna pay for it. Get him. I was lucky. I rolled for the rift. I got a four. Barely survived, skin of my teeth. I took eight, because I had faith that I would be able to get to Megatol, and no one else was able to. So I scored Custodes, I scored a Schmeck point from Imperial, and then I scored the little like token spendy. I didn't score round one. I mean, it means I'm gonna get the beat down. I still don't really have a path toward any of the current publics. Um, maybe if I can convince Henry to let me borrow one of the um, planets with a text uh, skip next to his home system, I can actually use technology to get to unit upgrades. I think he's a man who could use a little bit of goodwill these days, considering he jumped ahead of us at like three or four points right now. I got my points, I can get out like two guac, in a four-player game where we purged our supports, like, that's, that's primo. That's primo. There's a lot of heat on the board, you know? Here's some drama that's going on out there. I am in a huge conundrum here. Matt, let me get closer. Matt is dying. He's dying to blast Rand's war son. My war son is pretty naked next to Matt's entire PDS situation. Not good. Rand has a naked war son, no escorting ships, nothing. Uh, within uh, within like shooting range of my flagship and a mech, and I've got like I've got graviton as my base tech, so it's like I I could kill it. I could kill it. He's dying to do it, and I'm like, kind of trying to discourage him so I don't seem too obviously bloodthirsty. But at the same time, like, in discouraging him, I'm trying to like encourage him a little bit. That would make me an enemy for life, and. Uh, you know, it, it probably is not a good idea because at that point Rand's just gonna be like more, more or less focusing on taking me down, which I don't necessarily want. Hey man, you just used that Took to activate and use gra Exhaust Gravitron. Like, you're blasting her out of the sky immediately with your flagship. Um, knowing full well he's gonna spend that Took on that and then I'm gonna stall leadership and he's gonna pass. I don't know, I'm... Come, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting too big for my britches already. I'm just happy to have gotten three points. I checked with him. He seems open to making a deal to let me cruise through. But oh, the temptation is there. The temptation is there. It's, it's just sitting there, just begging, just asking for it. Oh, it, it's it's painful. It's it's painful. Matt has his giant uh, fleet killer with his uh, flagship. Rand's got war sons. Henry has Mechatol and like a bajillion points. And here I am, the Nasroka, just kind of sitting in my little corner playing solitaire for a minute. As far as the actual game goes, uh, it's going it's going well. Like, there's a bunch of uh, objectives that are, I guess, kind of well in line with just turtling up. Let's see what this third objective is. That was a quick round one. Raise a fleet, have five or more non-fighter ships in one system. And while we're here, let's just check out that nice double Imperium score on Schmeck. That's just some of the sightseeing we're That's doing. That's such bullshit. <laughs> such BS. <laughs> Both of those are totally in line with my uh, with my uh, goals for this game of just turtling up and uh, being the uh, being the most uh, pain in the ass to go after. So, as far as I'm concerned, I, like we're we're going well. I've got I've got politics, so I can get what I need next round. So this next round, I took Imperial. I did uh, use the agenda phase to get four green technologies. So crazily, I'm actually going to get my uh, secret objective. Hopefully, I can scoop up a guac point and. Uh... 
I don't know, recover, build some pl plastic, because I am looking naked on the board. I'm really gonna have to make some moves to get ahead here. It's anybody's game, obviously. I could get the beat down. I need to bulk up for sure. Good relations all around, hopefully, and uh, hopefully Henry being ahead uh, takes some meat off of me, so but yeah, we'll see. Let's see how this next round goes. All right, it's been real. See you next round. It went fine. Nothing can compare to a round one where you pop off with Custodians and Imperial. Like nothing, come on, nothing. There's no high that can compete with that. Last round, I pulled Mauve Worlds and got myself Light Wave. I was able to, I was able to make that deal with Henry that I was able to get the, the two unit upgrades. Now I got Cruiser 2 and Light Wave, so it opens up my options a lot as far as expansion goes, which is good because I also have my um, Commander unlocked, uh, which will let me, um, Maybe take people's stuff and explore it. I don't know. I'm a nice little cat with a monkey on her back. I was just standing out there and Matt's like, Henry, you're a threat. And I was like, yeah, that's true. All right, we got a new objective. Matt, flip it for us. Let's see what we got. Intimidate Council. Mm. That's spicy. Very spicy. So far, good relations. I've got eight and uh, I can score Intimidate Council immediately, so that'll help me by unlocking my commander, and that'll give me a long ways towards getting some of my secrets done as well. So we're in, we're in good shape. We've got eight and we got two. Some interesting deals that round. Um, yeah, what, we, what we could do is, uh, you know, like three trade goods for a red frag, that's probably a little bit high usually, but I'd be down to do that. Mm -hmm. um, no, I like that. Okay. Let's say the space cannon is uh, satisfied. I've been uh, pretty diplomatic about, uh, you know, not uh, not shooting people too much. Two trade goods. Three passes from Ikatol and two trade goods. And you play it at an amicable timing, and you promise you won't send them my way. Yeah, I mean, they're not, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't go your way. This is just for my uh, my own turtling purposes. That's what I'm doing this game, right? I'm turtling. I know. I'm turtling. I, I understand. I'm, I'm here we're to turtles. feed the turtle. That's what we're doing. But I don't <laughs> want to feed the turtle. And then the turtle eats my hand. Friendly. Yeah. So friendly. Uh, he's a snapping turtle. The person she's dealing with to resolve that is Matt, because his uh, his flagship with PDS is right next to Schmeckatol right now, and could blast her at any moment. I can leave this and you'll not take my plan there. No, I won't, take your, I won't take your plans. Okay, I'm done for this deal. Okay. Um, cool. So, yeah, I'll activate Schmeck. Coming through. I'm also invested in what happens to Schmeckatol, because I have that... Stupid dang gosh dang nabbit secret. Nice. Let's fight. I ended up giving Matt fires of the gash lie in exchange for letting me take my katol and not PDSing my movements that are gonna be happening in these next inconsequential rounds. I didn't go after Rand's war son either. I, I showed enough restraint to not do that. And so in, in exchange, she gave me war son technology, so. I gotta get close, sorry, cause it's so quiet. Matt is definitely being nice now, but when push comes to shove, I don't think he'll hesitate to shoot Rand's war sons out of the Schmeckatal sky. Matt took Corman, made Henry salty. Henry took one of the uh, systems in Matt's slice. Let's just carve Matt up a little bit. Ooh! Mm, fun. Just for the spice. <laughs> Just for the spice. For spice Town, USA. Spice Town. I was maybe Icarusing a little bit, flying too close to the sun, because I did strike out against Matt last round, which the rest of the table didn't acknowledge a ton. But we have been saying, at least Rand and I have been saying, that the problem with 
extra in the game and all those PDS is like we have to do at least something to like just slow the snowballing economy. So I did attack his slice a little bit. Oh, you have so many guys there though. You grab drive? Nope. Okay. That's good. We have cruiser too. I do a cruiser too. See, so come hose me. I could. You have no toes. <laughs> the leadership yeah. holder is stalling us out. Um, and then I need to bring some guys. Is it dumb to bring these? Yeah. It's just too spendy out here. You gotta apply some fresh. I left myself a little bit open because of that. They had a little tussle, but they seemed to work it out. There was some payment exchange. They're, they're all peaceful now. I did actually sell off some of Rand's debt to try and like cool that. I didn't want to have the, the most tense situation over there. I took politics and construction. I'm hoping to pop down a space dock and PDS on Mechatol, build up. <laughs> yes, you guys will be shocked to hear. Rand is talking about building up on Schmechatol of all places, wow. Who could have seen who could have seen that coming? She wants to build a space dock. She wants to build everything. Rand took politics, um, which means next round she might take Imperial, which means I'll take maybe I'll take politics so that I can get Imperial and start catching up a little bit because I am behind. That's the big problem here. Hope to get Imperial and, you know, be able to get that double block. Well, I want this. Michael, do you want this? Um sure. Alright. Uh, all my votes for Michael. Michael got elected for the agenda where he has to play with his secrets revealed. They've searched me mm -hmm. with a warrant. How could they? But now, now they know my horrible plan was to have four technologies of the same color by mastering the laws of physics. Oh, shit. Furthermore, they also happen to know that I greatly desire to have one mech on each of four planets with my wow. mechanized military. Oh, and geez. finally, they wish for me to drive the debate by being elected by an agenda, which ironically just happens. <laughs> Make that happen again. I am set to score two points this round with either one of my secrets, which are now face up, but there's really nothing people can do a lot about either of them, unless they really want to kill all my mechs, which, eh, okay, I can just rebuild them. He has some easy secrets, so the fact that he didn't score round one and his tempo is slow does not mean that we can, like, totally... Just like ignore him. I'm kind of just letting everyone else fight. And again, I'm just kind of playing solitaire over here, which is fine. It's a nice relaxing game for the Nazroka, but is it a winning game? That's the question. Time will tell. Good luck to everyone. Have a nice round. It's good to be playing TI again. I've been playing async. You guys, I've been playing async for so long. Like this game is, it's like bullets whizzing by my head. It's going so fast. You guys, it's getting weird. This game's getting weird. Starting the next round with politics and technology. Once again, everything is going exactly as planned. The only problem is the plan is not great. What is going on? Everyone is so plastic heavy. I feel like I've had tons of money. I got trade rounds one, two, and three as Empyrean with Dark packed in play with a four commod faction. Like I've been raking it in round after round. And somehow like everyone else, I feel like has more plastic on the board than me. I'm gonna have some chances to get some relics, hoping for the obsidian or um, the shard of the throne, uh, which is spicy, as they say. As far as uh, this, the publics, they all look uh, they all look very scorable. So I think we're, you know, so far in uh, in great shape. All right, let's see what this last stage one is, guys. 
It's gonna be, ooh, push boundaries. Control more planets than each of two of your neighbors. Yikity yikes. Wow. Finally some spice in a spendy heavy game. We have a couple spice objectives out. We have Intimidate Council, we have Push Boundaries. I managed to wheel and deal, sell my commander at the last minute to be able to finally produce a second horse in this game. Unlock the commander, got a salt cannon. Everything's everything's looking good for the Muat. Got a, a strong home base on Mechatol. It, it's nice. Serena's on Mechatol with two war sons, and that is everyone's problem. Matt has a crap ton of PDS, so that's also an issue. I do have plans to Nova Seed a system adjacent to Mechatol. Probably Matt's system that has a bunch of shit in it and a newly built war son. We'll see. I, I mean, he's not gonna like it. For sure. Probably either first or second action, so she's gonna try and Nova Seed my forward dock, so I've got two to prevent that from happening. Two POC two, and according to my faction ability, peace accords after you resolve the primary or secondary ability of the diplomacy card, you may gain control of one planet other than Mechatol Rex, does not contain any units, and is in a system that is adjacent to a planet you control, so I'll take a load on, please. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, DMZ planet gone. That was spice. That was spice. <laughs> Damn. Wait, it's adjacent to you? Oh yeah. Yep, formed. Wow. And then I'm going to diplo this system. It's diploing. Where is it? Actually, system? actually. Yeah, I'm gonna diplo this system. That's fine. Let him get into corner to score. As far as secrets, I've got to win the TZ score, but it's when against a player with the most points. So that might drive me to uh, take some more aggressive actions anyways. I am going to take Cormin. I'm gonna win a combat in Anomaly, get that action phase secret. Probably bombard Corman, get that action phase secret. I'll have scored all three secrets. I'm not trying to stall people out of leadership this round, but I do want to give myself time to like see what is going on. Hopefully double score, Imperial, that's one, two, three, four, five potential points. Oh, I end at nine, we'll see. <sighs> this could go a lot of different ways. I'm gonna have to score the two people for no matter what next round. So uh, unless some agenda phase shenanigans happen. We'll see. Keep my eyes on the prize, keep drawing uh, exploration cards and hoping for gold. I just don't know how it's gonna shake out. Everyone's quiet and staring at the board. We're at that classic phase where everyone is just staring at the board like, like frantically searching for their path and like frantically freaking out about what everyone else around them is gonna do and like, you can feel it. You can feel it in the air. Just try and, uh, you know, get in a second horse on there, maybe take Mechatol. That would be, then be really helpful for me. So we'll see if that, uh, if that ends up panning out. You guys, Matt's confessing, so Rand is just the creepiest play area. Oh, 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 oh whoa. No, we'll talk about you. Frags. Uh, no frags on my end. Frags, okay. I do have trade goods. Trade goods, yeah. Earlier in the game, you uh, you charged me my trade goods not to uh, fly there, so I'll trade you your trade goods not to fly courageous. Are you? How many trade goods? Uh, let's see. How many did you charge me before? Oh, I charged you for your alliance. I seem to remember giving you trade goods at some point. I think I believe I, I, believe I gave you three, so it's three. Okay. That works. Alright, I won't play courageous. I'm a chill guy, and chill guys pop their heroes, so let's just do it and see what we get. Oh! Ooh! Empyrean yeah. hero! Let's pop that hero. I'm gonna get, I think, I think it's three. Let me just double check, and I'll replace the guys that are missing, featuring Scott and his beautiful wormhole tokens. So these guys go back there, and then I explore one, two, three. That's plenty. We'll do this one here. <laughs> Replenish commodities. All right. 
This one is a fragment, and this one is nice, a fragment. Not too exciting, but I'll get a relic out of it. That could be exciting. That could be exciting. Could be. My gosh, it is tight. It is tight. It is tight out there. Everyone is, ooh, you can feel the nervous energy. It's been a close game. It's been a tense game. I don't think I'm going to win. Uh, I am at seven with uh, the rest of the pack, except for Henry, who's at eight. We're all up there. I'm at eight. It's a tight game. Everyone's at seven, except for me. I'm at eight. <laughs> but we're going to reveal the next objective. It's our first stage two, and we have, wow, Manipulate Galactic Law, spend 16 influence. It's been a spendy game, this trend continues. Everyone's counting their influence. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, big spendy. The two for the game is just brutal. Uh, it's way too much influence for me to spend. I've had no influence the entire game. I took trade to try to try and mitigate that a little bit. Maybe I can get enough trade goods to Pay it off? Uh, maybe I just go for Mechatol. I don't know. Brand taking back some planets in her slice and trying to score Intimidate. Brand has two War Suns on it, but they recently got uh, um, they got nerfed with the uh, the agenda that takes away their sustained damage, so that's an option. Here's the Muwap player after we just passed Publicized Weapon Schematics. That's fine. It affects our dear non-quasher as well. Matt refused to quash. I refuse to quash. We were all out of influence, so Michael just decided as speaker. It's true. I could also just try and take Henry's home. It's I have the, the speed and the light wave for it. Uh, if I have to do that, I, I will. I hope I don't have to. I had a very lucky situation a couple times in a row. I drew a secret off of eight, which was turn their fleets to dust. And luckily I had just placed a couple PDS and even use the enigmatic device to upgrade them. Why was I doing that as Empyrean? Why was I, why did I get two PDS? Well, to keep construction from going to extra and having them get turtle up. Why did I upgrade them? Because I was paranoid with push boundaries out. I was like, at least I'll get a couple shots off. So it was total paranoid boy decision. I did not end up scoring either of the secrets. I managed to get two hits and kill two, ran, two of Rand's ships and just score real quick. Didn't score them because we got stalled out of leadership. Henry stalled us out. I have leadership, which is great for your scoring order, but also going first. And I don't want them to hear my secret plans out there, but I'm gonna try and win right away on my first action. I can do so this round. That's the goal. I think my only path at a win is an action phase win. And that involves taking shard from Michael. What'd it's the shard of the throne. Wow. Wow. That's, that's supposed to be my shard. Super lucky after watching Michael sift through the relic deck for me, I uh, finally cashed in my, my fragments for my first relic and it was the obsidian. Love that. And I drew prove endurance off of that. And I was easily able to score that. I scored two action phase secrets and I have two more in my hand right now. All right, you're I'm definitely got my eyes on you. You had your eyes on me this whole time. That's not true, you believe that. You've been paranoid. Time. My eyes have not been on you. You know, the lady with the Nova Seed and two War Sons, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Michael's chilling. Now Michael's witness chilling. the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. We have potentially a path forward here, so we've got, uh, I have uh, the secret that it's got three fighters left after combat, so I've, I've got actually a secret that's relatively easy to score. And I have, uh, I have two to protect myself, and I've got an extra. So uh, when it comes to getting all of the points, like we might be able to do it. If Henry doesn't get it, we might be able to. Gotta see if Henry will grant me ether stream passage into uh, a system of Michael's that has a lot of ships and needs to be Nova seated. But then I'm gonna warfare that Go for the home, go for the shard, go for the bombardment, and hope for the best. Here's the plan for my first move. I hope it works. Dear God, I hope it works. I'm gonna move everyone that I can to Michael's home system immediately to score Dark in the Skies, and then I'm gonna land, take his home system, and get shard, and the game will be over. First action, round five. Everyone else scores ahead of me, so even if I score the two for there's, I just, there just isn't really a world where I get an extra point at the, uh, during the status phase, unless everybody else doesn't score. Probably either Henry or Michael is gonna score either off the eight or off the one, and uh, that'll be it. But if, if both of them fail, I very well could, uh, 
you know, manage to uh, manage to get it going. So we'll see if this, we'll see if I can, we'll see if I can get it in the bag. Because this is such a close game, I'm sure this is going to be a very wind slay final round. So hopefully I can just sort of pick up the pieces, but uh, it's a long shot. No matter what happens, fun game. There's a path, so we'll see how this round plays out. It's kind of nuts. Definitely a possibility. Pretty stressful, uh, pretty high stakes, anyone's game. Hope to come back with a crown, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. I'm trying to end this game right now. Stay tuned. I hope next time you see me, there's a beautiful golden crown on my head. Henry's big move, turn one, round five. Oh my, oh my goodness, he's going for shard. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is happening right one, now. One, two, three. So this guy can get there via grab drive. Wow. I'm gonna line him up in this system. Let's put ground guys in the back. Oh. He's going for it. Yeah, he is. <laughs> YOLO, baby. He's going the distance. Um, He's going for shard. <laughs> what is, is this? going to score? Is this a reference? Because TI is hard. <laughs> if this doesn't work out, I'm hosed, but YOLO. Because he's going the distance. He's going for shard. This is horrifying. He's going to score. His TI is hard. That's Empyrean at eight points for you. That's a lot of shit. Oh yeah, do you have cards on activation? I should ask. I didn't hear what you said. Do you have cards on activation? Uh, when another player activates his system. I'm gonna check. If it was too lost in despair. The shard, the shard. I mean, this could be uh, this could be action phase plus shard equals win. This could be for the win right here. Yeah, dark in the skies plus shard. Yeah, that would be swaggy. I mean, Henry, the last two secrets you drew, you scored about five seconds after drawing them, and they were yeah. both last round. So. Yeah, no, if this is a, if this is a Henry win, I'm gonna be impressed. I'm gonna be not surprised. I'm glad I can finally impress you. You've always impressed me. <laughs> <Henry. laughs> oh, I forgot to play manipulate investments. That's right. Uh, I don't have any wins. Okay. This fight's happening. Sustain. 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 Take away some fighters. It's looking rougher than ever. God, the dreads let me down, bro. Alright. So I will have four that hit on nines this time. Hit on the nines. Two hits on dreads. None on the nines. Cruisers. No, it's like cruisers. One. Wow, that's so okay. bad. Uh, two hits uh, from me. <sighs> One hit from me. Okay. I'll lose a uh, cruiser. And I lose two fighters. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. He's sweating. All right, dreadies. Here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold up. Dreads. Oh, sorry. I never sustained it. Whatever. I keep missing it. Three hits, baby. One hit. Carrier. No hits on the carriers. Three hits on the dreads. One hit from cruiser. Two hits, so two hits total. Okay. Um, I got I got three hits. Okay. I think I have the to. The referee move. called it, folks. What you gotta say about this ref? You got how many? Two. Uh, two this hits. is uh, this is spicy. Very spicy. Okay, that's one hit, and then you got two, right? Two hits. Yeah. No, I got three hits, sorry. Sorry, yeah, that's one in there. This is too close. This is too close. You have two dreads left? Mm hmm Got this. Here we go, here we go. All right, dreads. Two hits. hits. How many? Two. Ooh, all right, there you go. One hit. Two's all you need. Three hits, let's go, baby. Are the skies darkened? Are the skies darkened? Oh, hold, skies up, hold, darkened? Up, hold, oh, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Holding up, hold up the skies. We're about to be darkened. You need to take your glasses and I'll take yeah. mine. Okay. Courageous to the end. Oh, that's so tough. Courageous to the end. Courageous to Lightning the end. So I watch you that. Get out of here. I watch you that. Oh my God. Watcher, 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 watcher. There you go. If there's a parlay, I'm. <laughs> Did you score dark? Yeah, give me dark. Is that it? No Did more you cards? Score 
Uh, I'm out of cards, yeah. Darken, baby. Oh, oh he scores Darken. He's going oh for it. Oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, who has less people? That's nine points for the Empyrean going for Shard. Going I will. Shard. I'll, I'll commit. That's supposed to be mine. Yolo, I'm committing everyone to you. Yep. I must have for my PDS and I forgot my uh... PDS me now. I think this is a Henry win. Oh Alright, six up. No hit. My gosh. Alright, three. I got six boys. Hold up. One moment. I'm gonna get something. My gosh. Yep, okay, let's do it. Alright, YOLO. No hits. One hit. Okay. Okay. Do I want a crown of Thanos? That. Mmm. I forgot about that. Hitting on seven or two. This is going to be the end. Yeah, I think this is the end. It probably is. I just decided I want a crown of Thanos. That. Um. I think that's the only way I, uh, I survived. So yeah, I'm going to crown of Thanos. That. Oh, wow. oh my god, this is it. Seven up. Nope, nothing. They all missed, they're all dead. Holy sh. Let's Henry go, gets the shard. baby. Give and me that's that 10 shard. Points. And that's Blue game. Yeah. Well done. GG. Let's GG. go. Well First turn win. First turn round five. They saved us some time. Dang. GG's. Crown of Thelnos. Crown of Henry the Empyrean. Crowned by Mr. Thalmos. <laughs> Mr. Thalmos. Well done. Brother of Mr. Scott. <laughs> GG, y'all. GG. 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 Mmm, feels good. Feels good. We did it, folks. We did it. First action of the round, it's over. Henry uh, took my home and took my shard. Oh, Henry pulled it off. He went the distance, and he got the shard, and he won on the first turn. Oh my god. GG's Henry, back so quick after last confessional. Literally like five minutes. Five minutes ago, I was over here, be like, Oh, I'm going for the action phase win. I mean, look, I told you the plan, and the plan worked out. What more is there to say? I told you guys what I was going to do. Turn one, leadership, B roll it up, Henry goes in, Henry scores dark and skies. Feels good. It was a nice, swaggy action phase win, snagging shard. Literally, Henry's secret game was fire. Fire this game. Had some great secret draws this game. Really great secret draws. Uh, honestly, like, that was, that was really fun to watch. One unscored. I still had Destroy Their Greatest Ship in hand in case I was kind of my backup in case um, I didn't get shard. It was a, a bitter fight. Uh, it came down to, you know, one, he, he won by one ship, but it came down to infantry. Uh, I got really unlucky with my infantry roll. I crowned enough Thanos to them, and they all died. So he took my shard, uh, he darkened my skies, and he won. So good game, Henry. Well played. Feeling pretty good. It was a good win. Yeah, congratulations to Henry, and a congratulations to uh, Rand and Michael as well. It was a really close game, a really hard fought one, and... Uh, they're really close right up to the end. I hope Matt comes here and, he and mentions that he did not fire his PDS <laughs> once the entire game, which <laughs> we were sitting out there afterwards and he's just like, I didn't shoot my PDS this whole game. As for me in that game, like I didn't do jack I just, I had my PDS. I, I didn't even shoot them. I just charged people to not shoot. Matt pointed out he never shot a single PDS shot <laughs> all game, but he made bank off of charging people not to shoot, so. Eh, you know, different way to play the extra. Very lucrative. You gotta be blasting. I bought a war stone that I never used. Uh, it was amazing. Like, I, I, I literally just spent uh, four and a half hours just moving bits of plastic from one area to another and uh, moving like counters and, and things and, and uh, I strangely had a great time doing it. It's crazy. I probably need to get my head checked. I am satisfied that I played the Nosroka to their uh, to their strengths. I basically played uh, played Explore Planets the entire game and that was a lot of fun. Muat was fun. Muat, Umektal, Guac, fun. But uh, yeah, not, not enough for the win this time. Good game to Michael, Matt, and Rand. Shoutouts to all you guys. Thank you for watching.
Thank you for sticking with TI Junkies. It was a great game. Had a lot of fun and uh, super excited for the next one. Looking forward to next time. Catch you all next time. I'm going to get out of here because we are the TI Junkies, so we're out there running it back. We're setting it up. Who am I going to play? Which facts do I pick for the next game? I feel like Empyrean, I was sneaking around and slithering through space a little bit. So maybe I want to pick someone with a little more inherent firepower in this next game. Maybe a little L1 run back, maybe a little Clan of Sar run back. How many hours have passed since we started the run back? Well, your girl's here about four hours later, here to report I stepped out and they had uh, requested a run back. We ran it back and the Asarl took it home. Let's go. It was actually awesome. Um, I spent the last three rounds without my home system and I managed to keep Imperial via public disgrace, political stability, and went off of Guac and Secrets and become a martyr. It was tooth and nail, and it happened because I zoomed ahead via double Guac and Imperial Rider. You know, four player game shenanigans. Uh, but it was fun, and the goblins took it home. Uh, it's almost midnight, so good night junkies. Thanks for tuning in to this episode, and listening to my little addendum confession. Catch you next time.